In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a template for our website. Now, our website is not too exciting right now. We're using the default template in Website Baker, and this is probably not the template that we want to use. So, we are going to learn how to create a template out of an existing template and just port it over to Website Baker. So, in order to find out more about creating templates, I would go to Website Baker's website. You go to the Designer Guide, and over on the right, you'll find um, some information here. And we're going to be going through um, a, a few of these in the next set of tutorials here. But the first one that we're going to start off is with the template functions. Now, this is the page where we're going to be copying and pasting our code from in order to put it into our particular template. So, the template we're going to be using is the Anther template, which is from freecsstemplates.org. And this is a really nice template, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the source here. And you'll see that the source is pretty involved. And so, we, I've actually created a much more simplified version of this. And here is where that version is. So, here's my version, and I've kept the same header, um, but I've gotten rid of a few things and added a couple other things just so we, I can see it's black and that way I know what's what. So we've got, here's our head section and we're going to replace some stuff here in the style sheet. We're going to replace some stuff there. Um, inside here we've got our logo with our website title and we're going to replace some of that information. We've got our main menu and we're going to replace that with a, CMS, uh, with a website baker function. We've got our content and We'll be replacing that with a function. Our sidebar will become a function later. And then we've also got a footer, which might be replaced with our function. So I'm going to show you how to create this template. So um, in order to look at templates in um, Website Baker, what you really want to do first is take a look at the existing templates that are there. So if I take a look at even like the simple um, one right here, Let's just take a look at what we have inside here. We've got a template CSS, print CSS, and a preview, info, and index. Now, the files that are required are really only the index and the info PHP files. The other files are not necessarily required, but it's not a bad idea to have them. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I've got over here. The template and print, we can name this stuff anything that we want. So I'll just change my style sheet to styles. And my HTML file, unfortunately, can't be an HTML file. It actually has to be this um, index.php file. So I'll call this index.php. And that has just regular HTML code inside of it. At this point, we don't have even any PHP code in it at all. Uh, so everything is just regular code at this point. We're going to add some PHP to it in a minute. The next thing is this info PHP and I actually need a copy of that in mind for sure. So whoops I didn't mean to to duplicate or to steal it from the other folder but I need that file. The other thing that we have is this preview and this preview is just a very small um, version of the the image of our website. So yeah, we can bring it over. It's not necessary. Um, anyway, looking at our file, let's go and look at this info file first. This info is what we need in order to have a CM simple template. So the stuff that we need to change is the obligatory information here. And then these are optional variables that we will be using later. So let's take a look at what we're going to call our template directory. We're going to call it Anther because that's going to be the name of our template. And I can go ahead and call the template name Anther as well. The function of it is going to be a template. Our template version right now is 2.7, but we're going to be used 2.8 because that is what we're using. We're going to replace the template author from the original simple template to our name. So this can be your name. And the template license can be whatever you really want it to be. I'm going to just go ahead and keep the general public license because that's totally fine for me. Now the template description, um, I can say this is a custom 
Anther template for Website Baker, and I'll go ahead and take out the rest of the information because I don't really need it there. But we do need to have this info PHP file. The stuff here at the top is not required. Um, we could get rid of this if we don't really want it to be there. Um, it's just some other information. So really, this is all we need. The obligatory um, website baker variables and then the optional variables for menus and blocks um, if we're going to use them. And I'm just going to change that to menus the way that we typically see it. And so I'm going to save this file. And then I'm going to start looking at my index.php file. So um, the very first thing that we have is our head section. I can get rid of these comments in here. And let's take a look at what Website Baker asks us to put in here. So if I go to here, it says um, we are going to be replacing the title line with the title function. So I'm going to come copy that, go back to mine, find the title, and paste that in. Now we can of course reorganize this stuff any way that we want. Um, we can put our, our title first and then our meta tags second. It doesn't really matter. It just matters that they're contained within the head section. Now I'm going to come back and take a look at the next thing here. Ooh, this one's kind of fun. This one will even allow us to do a website title and a page title. So that's kind of even more descriptive. So why don't we use that one instead? So there we go. We've got even a little bit more information than before. Now you'll see this is true with many of the different functions. We can use the function as it is defaultly, or like this one, we can add certain function calls inside that function in order to add more to it. So we'll, let's go ahead and use that. The next thing that we're going to use is the default character set. So we'll copy and paste that into our template, which doesn't look like we have it there currently, so we'll put it in there. We're not really required to have this, but it's not a bad idea. Let's see, the next thing we've got is our description and keywords, so we're going to copy and paste the page description and keywords in there um, into our template. And so basically what we're doing is we're just replacing what we would use as static coding with these new PHP tags, or these PHP functions. The next thing we have is going to be our, um, our CSS code. So our typical CSS code um, just has an H reference that links right to the CSS, but what we need to do is echo the template directory in there, and that's why they've added this extra code. So I'm going to copy that, go to my template, and I'm going to paste in that code. Now this is called screen, but I've called mine styles. So let's just make sure that you are using the same CSS file as you currently have in your template. The next thing I'm going to replace is this right here, which is the title of my website. So let's go back and see if we can find that. Here it says banner website title, and we can put in a function that echoes the website header. So I'm going to copy that, go to mine, and paste that in. Now you'll see that we did something different. Mine links to the href index.php. We can go ahead and change that. Um, so if we wanted to make a link, that's fine. And we can just go ahead and put in just the website header that we want here. So we can just put in that PHP function if we want. So we have the website header. Now we've also got a subtitle here. And unfortunately, that is not something that I believe that there's a function for. So just be aware that not everything is always going to work. Now the next thing that we're going to have is our menu. So we're going to go ahead and put in a menu here. And it says Show Menu 2, which I'm not really sure why it says show menu too. I thought we could just do show menu and it'd work just fine. But, um, oh, I see. They've got a couple different ones. Show menu one, show menu two. Um, so I'm just going to actually copy this and paste mine in. And here's where that list is going to go. I'm going to replace the entire list. And I'm just going to have it 
be show menu. I'm not going to even worry about one or two. We'll worry about that at a later time. The next section that I need is going to be my content. And you'll see they're, they're playing around with different things with content one and two. And we really don't need that uh, much at all. Let's go ahead and, and copy one of them. Go into our template. And our content is just going to be page content. And let's not do one or two or anything like that. Now, we've got a sidebar here as well. And for this tutorial, we're actually going to skip this because that is going to become our page content 2 at a later time. So let's not worry about that right now. Now, the other part is going to be our footer. And right now, I've got a lot of information in my footer. So I'm going to um, replace this information in mine. So, but I'm not going to delete mine yet. I'm going to place the footer function and then I'm going to copy out my code. And the reason I'm going to copy out that code is because this footer actually goes in a very particular place in my um, website baker um, settings. So let me go ahead and save things. And let's talk about the settings that we have. We've got our website header here that's going to happen and we've got our page footer and these are actually associated with the settings in website baker so if I go to my website and I go to the settings for this website you'll see here I've got the website title and I can call this whatever I want we've got the description and that's gonna be what appears right here with our page description so it'd be good for us to put a sample description this is the sample description. Now our keywords, sample and keyword, and then our website header and our website footer. It looks like there's a function for website header, but I've never really used it. So I'm just going to put that in the website footer section. I've put the actual HTML code and I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now I can save it at anywhere. Ooh, look at that. I got something deprecated, but I think it worked. Now we're going to go into our admin tools and, oh, add ons, sorry, add ons, templates, and we are going to install the template. So here are the files that we have created. Right now it's very simple. Um, let's see if I find the right ones. Here's the files that we have. Here's the anther. So we've got our index.php, which is our code for our um, template. We've assigned all the functions except for the sidebar and we've got our info.php file and we've changed that to have the information that we want and then we have the images that are used by our CSS and our CSS file so let's select all of those files and actually zip them up together so I'm gonna go ahead and call them anther just because that's easy enough and so now I go to install a template I choose the file so that file happens to be under anther here. So there's the anther.zip file and then I can install it over on the right hand side. If it is installed su successfully, if I can say that word right, I should now go to the templates folder and see the anther folder appear. It also means that now if I go to my settings, I should be able to find that template amongst the other templates and I can choose that as the default template and save it. Now, when I go to test my website and I refresh, you'll see that I am actually seeing my template applied to my pages. Now, we've got a couple things that aren't working here correctly, um, and that's okay. We've got a little code issue here. We've got our main page and we've got our content showing, but overall, and here's my footer information, Overall, we've got pretty much what we want. Now, the nice thing about um, having the template already installed is that we can then go back, and of course we can't uh, uh, delete or change our files in the original location. We actually have to find these on the new place. So that was under Downloads, Server to Go, HTDocs, Website Baker, Templates. Anther, and now we can open up this file and if we want to make some changes we can if it's needed. 
So it looks as though for some 